have our very own Maraquet Express, I call her that, uh, though she is known as Karen Kibet on her birth certificate. Karen Kibet, you have been telling me that there has been stories about age cheating at the Under-16 Africa Nations Cup, as well as uh, no competition from the other teams that are coming to play in Kenya. Oh yes, I can affirm both points that you have just pointed out right now. It's yesterday we had five matches, day one of the uh, Copa Coca-Cola Under-16 Africa Cup of Nations. And guess what, Tony Kualanda, from the five matches, we gathered 30 goals where Kenya beat Ethiopia 11-1. South Africa beat Angola, you know, 10-0. And right now, I'm going to be joined by David Ngugi, the Secretary General of KSSA, you know, to tell us the level, of or the level of competitiveness in this particular tournament. Is it too high? Is it too low? Is it that they are fielding and, uh, other countries, the 12 countries that have graced this tournament? Is it that they are, they are not fielding strong teams? Or what was the cri criteria of selecting the teams that came all the way to Nakuru for this inaugural tournament? Karibu sana. Bona SG, you know, we have so so many critical questions, but right now, please tell us what is your assessment of these competitions in terms of the level of, in, of the levels of you know competitiveness. Okay, thank you, Karen. Uh, the competition is very high, uh, but uh, some teams, of course, are more ready than the others. Uh, we started at a very high note, and every team wanted to make a statement. Uh, with, Kenya, uh, with Kenya scoring uh, uh, a very high score of 11, and South Africa uh, scoring a high score of 10. Uh, well, uh, uh, that does not seem to be the case today, and the, and the games that followed, the balance now is taking place, teams are settled. Uh, the team that scored 10 yesterday, uh, that is South Africa, could, on, could not score a goal today uh, against uh, uh, the, the, their, their opponent, Tanzania. So we, we are looking at a, at, a, at a competition whereby some teams are very ready and some may not be uh, completely ready. Again, uh, the, the, the competition in different countries. Uh, some are using schools for competitions like us. Others, it was a national championship, a knockout competition to get Copa. So at, at different, people at different levels uh, maybe have come more prepared than others. But over and above, uh, we have seen, ap apart from the two countries who soaked about 20 goals, uh, uh, the rest uh, are holding their own so far. And Kenya today don't have any match, but tomorrow we'll see them in action against Botswana. Are you confident that Kenya, through St. Uh, Anthony's boys, Kitale, that they will still replicate the same performance that we witnessed yesterday? Yeah, Kenya, we are ready. We came here uh, a, a week before uh, to prepare, and the way they played the first game, I am confident they'll qualify, uh, they, they, they'll play well tomorrow to qualify to, uh, to the quarterfinals. Uh, I'm sure they will play well, but I cannot guarantee that they'll score 10 goals again. Yeah, that may be a, a tall order tomorrow. Because <laughs> maybe Botswana is a tough team or... No, but Bo Botswana looks more prepared. They, 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 are, uh, they are good, but for winning the points... Uh, I can assure you that we'll make more, uh, three more points tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much, Buona David Ngugi, the Secretary General of KSSA. And Kalanda, you had earlier asked me about age cheating. The Secretary uh, David Ngugi confirmed, you know, after they played Ethiopia 11-1, the Ethiopians came forth complaining that Kenya had fielded an in ineligible player, an old player, and... They, 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 they didn't present any complaint to the organizers and officials of this particular tournament. So their complaint was r rendered useless. And David Ngugi, who has just spoken to us right now, confirmed that Kenyans are all eligible players. They are of age and no one is over the age of 16. So that is something that came through, but it's all settled out. It's clear. Yes, th thank you very much, Tony Kualanda. Kenyans are not playing today, but we will see them in action tomorrow against Botswana and the girls will see them in action on Saturday at the finals at Afraha Stadium and not right here at Nakuru High School. So Tony Kalanda, that's just a, a small brief of what's happening down here at Nakuru of the inaugural Copa Coca-Cola Under-16 Africa Cup of Nations. Back to you in studio. Thank you very much. Mara Sikiza ba, sikia baridi kabisa na ono mevaa sweater. Hata sisi huko tumevaa tu sweater nizimevaa ndani ya nguo. 
Thank you so much. Of course, we'll be hearing from you from seven, at 7 p.m. and 9 p.m., of course, from Nakuru. Right now, of course, uh, from Nakuru.